Hey all, this is Dinosaur, and uh, I've uh, finished watching the Bruce Jenner, Jenner the interview, and I've had about four or five shots of Nepal Castle to get through it. And uh, I gotta say, this is the now I understand why ABC uh, marketed it the way they did, because it wasn't. It was only partially about. Bruce gender. It was about uh, transgenders, people uh, who feel that they were born differently. Uh, now, here's the thing about this whole thing, whole thing about Bruce Jenner, is that here's a guy that was given the skills and the determination to become a world champion athlete. And he was in 1976. Lost in the first Olympics he was in. Came back and won it all. Considered the best athlete in the world. And um, and, I, and then he progressed and married and had children. And had two wives before Chris, Jan uh, Chris uh, Kardashian. And then he married Chris. And then it's just keeping up with the Kardashians. And that's how he became known. So the basic gist of this whole thing was is that Chris, uh, I'm sorry, not Chris, Bruce Jenner was going to become a woman because he felt that he was a woman, or no, his soul was a woman's soul trapped in a boy's body all of his life. I, you know, I have to say a couple of things about this. Um... First of all, this is classic systems. If you watch the film and the interview, his demeanor completely changes. And he shows the same symptoms as a bipolar personality or some even cl could claim demonic uh, possession. Uh, because if you look at the his answers were different, so variant from what he was like just about when he's talking about his past versus talking about this change. Um, if you look at the uh, videos that Barbara Walters did, the interview Barbara Walters did with Britney Spears, there were some scenes she was, she was a nut. She was totally like one minute smiling, next minute sad, next minute saying, and then they had to pause the whole thing because she freaked out on them. And it reminded me of this whole Bruce Schenner interview where he didn't freak out. Uh, here, he just kind of told his side that he always felt this way throughout his entire life. That he was a man trapped in a woman's body. And he said, and, and ironically, with an interesting twist, he said uh, that he is, um, he's still, you know, he's going to be a woman. And, he, you know, he still has beliefs. Like he tells his children he's going to be there and all that. And they even brought in the Bible, Deuteronomy, about how if a man dresses into a woman's clothes or a woman dresses in a man's clothes, these are detestable in the eyes of the Lord. Uh, now, now the Old Testament, uh, that, that was vital to know what it was important at the time, but at the time, the information was very limited. So was information, communications. And it wasn't until the New Testament where uh, Christ, is, uh, Christ came with, if you're a Christian, Christ came with the New Deal and tried to uh, offer salvation to everyone, regardless of what they did. And he says he's a Christian. Now, the only thing that really blew me away on this, there were several things. The one thing that blew me away was not the fact that he's a woman. Is um, He said he was not gay. Which uh, was confusing to me. I mean, how could you always say this on that? And, but then this goes back to the argument that this man is not sane. How could this man be wanting to be a woman? And then when asked, hey, are you going to date men? If you're heterosexual, then if you're a woman, you have to date men. And he says, well, no, I'm going to still date women. Well, I said, well, then you're a lesbian. Uh, and Diane Sawyer... <laughs> Miss KTVU, Channel 2 News, with Dennis Richman and the 10 o'clock news, um, who quit 
suddenly on national television or local television just quit on them to join ABC. So Diane Sawyer is, I think she's trying to angle herself to be the next Barbara Walters. It's sad, though, because Diane Sawyer was a really good interviewer uh, back then uh, when I remember her. But this was, it just reminded me of Barbara Walters all the way. Um, and like my father hated Barbara Walters. And I've seen a few interviews of Barbara Walters, and and she doesn't really, uh, she, uh, she's very biased in her interviews. Now, D Diane did bring a lot, a lot of points. It says, how do you expect to do all this? Um, and then how do your kids feel about this? Well, Bruce Jenner's uh, kids did show up. And they were say, oh, we're supportive here. Yeah, I wonder how much Keeping Up With The Kardashians, E! Network, and ABC paid you to say that. Because the whole interview was based on the acceptance of transgender youth. Now, personally, and I really doesn't make any difference to me on that. It's not something that involves my life. You asked me a question years ago. I probably would, uh, I'm talking 10 years ago, maybe even less on that. You probably have a different opinion, but really I'm at the point in, and now where it's just, I don't care. Just do whatever you want to do. Just as long as your stuff does not affect me. That's it. What pissed me off about this interview was that Bruce Jenner had the nerve to blame God. Um, what, a Christian God, which he said he was Christian and he believes in God. He had the nerve to blame God that said, what can we do to make this boy, him growing up in New York, different? And that was his desire to wear women's clothes. Okay, so what you're basically saying is in Deuteronomy, where God issued the law saying you can't do this, and then he intentionally did this? That doesn't make any sense. So, you know, whatever. I mean, that's an excuse. The truth is, is that he decided to do this. Um, now, you probably all noticed these sidetrack. Uh, yeah, I have to... I have to wear glasses a little more now, but that's, it's minor. It's not a big deal. Um, it, it's just shocking. It's like he blames God. Then he talks about all his wives and how he treats someone fairly, and he, then they focus on Chris Jenner. And Chris Jenner has no comment on the whole thing. That's because she's divorcing him as we speak. And, you know, here, now on a, uh, on a personal note, when he divorced Chris Jenner, I'm sorry, Chris Kardashian. I was, yes! Yes! Finally, he stood up. Because if you watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which they touched about in this interview, that he was being beaten up on constantly throughout the whole series. He was always being beaten up. Uh, then he tells about who which Kardashians are having a hard time with us versus those who are not. It, it doesn't matter. And... He, and on the, he just made a decision. So, and he was even asked by Diane Sawyer, which I think this was a plan. He says, "Are you doing this for the sake of the show? Are you doing this to increase the ratings and the attention of the show?" And he said, "Oh, come on! I'm going to make a sex change um, here uh, and do all this for the sake of the show. Get real. All right, let's get real for a moment." Your your ex wife was Chris Jenner, a former ex oh no a current executive in one of the high biggest reality shows on network. Not to mention fashion accessories, television placement uh, appearances, everything. You don't think for a second she can figure out a way? Oh wait a minute, the interview with Diane Sawyer. Oh, and then all of a sudden the interview has to coincide with uh, transgender youth and all the difficulties they have. Okay, oh, gee, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Chris Jenner, she's good at that. Oh, gee, well, ding! Maybe it's because she set the whole thing up. Ever think about that for a moment? Not many people do. The shocking thing, and I said the shocking thing to me is when he said he was Republican. And that was like, wow, because she asked about Obama, and he's like, I've never cared for Obama. She says, well, I don't understand. What are you doing? He's like, I'm Republican. 
And I'm like, well, you talk to all these, like, Cheney and all these other people about your situation? Absolutely. I said, because this is not a uh, political thing. I'm not going to politicalize this. This is a personal issue, and it's, uh, some people go through this issue, and uh, they should know about it a little more on that. But I am Republican. And I was like, wow, really? That was the most shocking thing uh, that I had. At least that I thought of. I was going, wow. On the, he's a Republican? On that? But we're all forgetting something. He now has money. He has something to lose. It's kind of funny how Ta, um, no, no, Robert Downey Jr. had that interview when he walked out and he says, he's getting a little too Diane Sawyer in here. And what he was referring to is a quote where he talked about how he was spending $2,000 a night um, in a uh, hotel room and then spent the next night in a penitentiary. Uh, and then after all rehab and drugs and everything, uh, he comes out and he says, and you think you come out of that as a liberal? He says, you're crazy. You're absolutely insane that this would happen like that. And that's what um, Robert Downey Jr. was talking about. And Chris, Jr., uh, Chris Jenner is a Republican. I mean, it's like, wow, maybe there's a conservative Republican movement. Wait a minute, maybe there's a conservative Republican movement with people with money. Because they have something to lose. Whereas the liberal movement is mainly with people who have nothing to lose. Or with people who, who can ride that movement to the top, like Hillary. I don't know. I think this is a this whole episode was not about Bruce Jenner. It was two hours long. I went through four, five shots of Nepo Castle. It, it was not needed to be that long, on the uh, at all. And then they brought their kids on and say, "Oh, I support him and all that." And then on top of that, they advertised two things. They advertised having another show on the following Monday with the kids' opinions and another show a year about showing the transition of Bruce. On that. Now, they even showed pictures of the paparazzi uh, chasing Bruce and asking questions. You know what? I have to agree with Bruce a little bit on this because I thought what the paparazzi did was completely unprofessional. But the paparazzi gets paid thousands of dollars if they get the right moment, the right picture at the right time. So that's not too, that shouldn't be surprising to anyone uh, uh, on, on that particular matter. On that. But it's something that he has to contend with. Uh, whether or not anything else changes, I'm not sure on that. But he he's also shown the dress he was going to wear it was a black so, silk dress, and the kids supported. Him. I don't know. The whole thing sounds very fishy. And then he says that man, I haven't committed to anything yet. But he says uh, he's just like I. But it's all I'm exploring everything like this. And I'm like you guys just did this to push a liberal agenda. And to promote the Kardashians, what you did, they pulled the sham on us again on that, in my opinion. The only thing shocking is Bruce saying he's Republican. Wait a minute, maybe that was timed that is a Republican because it was so unheard of or ab abhorrent, so to, so to the subject matter. Anyway, this is Dinosaur. This is my opinion about the whole thing. I think he's just a whiny little crybaby. I supported him when he divorced it because I thought Chris Jenner was just absolutely abusing him. Uh, but him thinking about doing the sex change, I think it's a waste of time. He's 65 years old. He shouldn't even care anymore. He should care about his grandchildren and his family and move on from there and have a happy life. And he says, oh, this is my journey. Well, good, dude. Have your journey. But the rest of the regular people who can't afford your journey or don't want to do your journey are not going to follow it. Um, I even regret watching this whole thing because I'm intoxicated and just didn't want to really deal with it. It was just dumb. The whole thing was dumb because I, like I figured as soon as within one, two minutes, I figured out the whole thing was, a, was an attention grabber for Bruce. So we'll see what he looks like in a year if he's a woman or not. Um, and we'll just go from there. Anyway, this is Dinosaur. I hope you saw it or enjoyed it. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.